Good morning and welcome back to Home Renovation Experts. Steve here on this 5x3 Rhombus build, which is looking absolutely spanking. Even my bespoke windows and doors are still looking very, very nice. Uh, update, so Andy will be in in a short while. The plan for him will be fuse board, get that done and dusted and connected, not to the house, but you know, finished up in here. Uh, get the lights cut, all those bits and pieces. So hopefully by the end of play today, the electrical work in this building will be done. But my happiest point so far today has been this. So that is my corner trim for my metal profile sheeting for the edges and the back of the build. And if I bring you out this way, I'm gonna take you for a bit of a walk, why not? A bit of fresh air, it's always nice for people. And if I swing you around here, Ka-ching! Eight o'clock drop. You gotta love that in you. So guess what I'm doing today? I'm gonna be fitting a lot of these to the sides and the back, so I'll get them all up. Hopefully today, it's gonna to be quite interesting to see how quickly I can get them cracked out. With my new technique, I like using a fest tool to cut them and stuff. Should be quite a doddle, I'm looking forward to it. Um, if I sound a bit funny, I'm sorry, I've kind of got a cold or something going on. I had one of those weird nights where you're sweating and shivering while simultaneously sweating your ass off. Weird, um, but that is it, I'm gonna crack on. Fresh air will help me anyway, and working will just burn it off anyway, so perfect. I'll see you in a minute. Righto, so now that I'm actually doing the metal cladding, I thought I'd show you this side basically finished, and I'll kind of run you through exactly how I did it on the other side. I mean, we've already kind of covered this in one of the other videos, but look at that. Beautifuls, right. Now, for those who didn't watch the other video, what I did was, to get the first bit up here, as you can see, already up, I poked, got measurements, so these are actually 106 centimetres <clears throat> all the way to the end. <coughs> I took a measurement from the front all the way across, 106, marked a level line, and then what I did was I got a bit of batten, cut it to the right height, and basically fixed it all the way up and down. So that when this one was floating and I've just kind of got it in my hands, I could butt it up to that bit of wood, which meant I was constantly keeping it level as opposed to kind of having it really free floating and trying to get it up and stuff. What this also allows you to do is then once you've actually cut your angle on the top, you can just slide it up against it. So that makes it easier to get it vertical and then put your fixings in. Um, once this batten is physically in place, all I then did was got just over a meter level, 1.2 butted it tight up to that batten and the soffit, hopefully so you can see that. Once I kind of got it leveled, I then just measured the distance between the top and the bottom level just in here. So that way I knew that for in this case, 25 mil, all I had to do was go ahead, mark on the back edge, 25 mil down, and then get my Festool and just cut my blade up to nothing. And that gave me the perfect angle with a dangle. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is, because this one is already up, like I say, if you want to see that a bit more detail with the wood and stuff in place and me actually showing you, there's a couple of videos back. Um, but what happens now is the next one will basically lap this part here. So this one, the profile over here, sits tight in this corner, so I don't need to now have the bit of batten to push up against. What I do do, do do, good friends quote, is measure from this joint here, where I know this one's going to start the next one, to 106, which is just here. I again, then put my level on to where that mark is, get it leveled, and just double check the distance between there and the soffit. Now, it should be that it runs exactly the same because obviously it will do, but I just like to double check these things as you go. So it's still 25 mil, which is great. So what I'll do now is come over this way for one I kind of prepared earlier. You know, one day I'll do one of these and I have a bit more space to get me the camera and actually get a camera set up down there. But until then, <coughs> so here we go. So there it is, there's a little sheet. The 25 mil coming off of this end. Where's my hand? There it is. Come off this end because that's the top. So we want the rake going down that way because that's the way the roof falls. Fest tall rail on there. Now, a few questions have been asked about this. So if you see on the back look, it's got these rubber bits and what that allows it to do is makes it non-slip. So essentially, all I've got to do is line the bottom up, line the top up of my 25mm mark, 
like so. Grab a fest tool with a metal bit in it and I'll just zip across there. Take seconds. And that is how you work out your top angles and how to like get the first one up and fixed. Then once you kind of get to the end and you may need, I don't know, for the last one on there, it was about 600 mil. So I cut the width of it first down to 600. And then I did exactly the same thing with my level, just marked off, measured from one soffit end to the other. Cause obviously you're on a short distance, so it does affect, you won't be 25 mil on this case, it'll be slightly different. Um, and then you get a perfect cut each and every time. Really, really easy, not complicated at all. Just take a bit of time to think about it and then double check your cuts before you do them. Apart from that, goes up quick and looks amazing when it's done. So doing these two sides first, obviously that side's done, I'll finish this side and then on the back it's a piece of piss because it's just straight cuts across the top, which makes life a lot easier. So doing these ones first to do all the reiki cuts and stuff and then onto the creamy bit. Nice. And then once I've done that, I'll show you how to put your, um, the trim. So this is basically corner trim at the back to go around the corner. 150 mil from one end to the other. Nice and big, plenty of give. Absolutely fantastic. So there you go, that's how you do that. I'll show you the back and those once I get around to it. And just for those of you who watched the lighting one where I was kind of trying to work it all out, I'm not nervous ever when the sparking comes in, like find those holes and make sure it works. Hey, look, did I do all right, Andy? So far. So far, so good. And I'll take that from him as a compliment. So there you go, so there's the holes. Job done exactly where I marked them. Lovely job, Philips Hughes bulbs going in these. Lamps. Lamps. Yeah. Oh, and the fuse board is now up as well. Doesn't work yet, but it's all connected in there and it looks pretty. We was just saying how pretty it looks. And check this out there. How cool is that? He's the first sparky to try and keep the mess down to a minimum. Top man. Right, Doki, so that is now the metal sheets on all three sides, all done and dusted. So now I'm down to these bad boys. So how do you cut these ones? Because obviously you can't use the, uh, the plunge saw. It won't quite do the job. It basically, nine inch disc cut a metal blade. So literally, you can see it marked off there. So just 207 centimeters, I think it was. Then I grabbed my oh, square, plunked it on. <coughs> Mark down, jobs are good in, jobs are good in. And now I simply use that just to cut through that bit and that is it. So I'll get these bad boys fit and then that is it all closed up, which is very happy, very, very happy. And Andy's happy. He's presently putting in the, uh, the spots at the front, but shh, he didn't like the position of the joists and stuff. I don't know who put those in his way, just some bloke randomly, but that's what happens with Sparky's, he can be quite sensitive, okay? And if you're a Sparky, you know what I'm talking about. He's a good lad though. Right, how did I get on? End of play, and I'm very happy. Because I feel a bit under the weather. That's definitely not been a bad day's graft. So, firstly, let's have a look at what Andy's done. Look at this. Lovely, lovely up lighters now in. Spotlights, down lights in at the front. Like I said earlier, fuse board is now in. Of it in corner. Smart radiators now also because he wants to wire that out the back. So the flex goes out and he returns back in there before I kind of cover it over the back. So it just means it's a lot needed. You have to look at that cable then. So getting good timings for like getting him in and sort of making it so it's as streamlined as possible. And then, look at that. Looks really nice, doesn't it? You know, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this stuff. You know, not too difficult to use to fit. Never needs treating, never needs anything. It matches the outside gray cladding, matches the outside gray facial and soffit. Seamless and beautiful. So that is it. Any questions, ping them down below. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. And apart from that, I will see you bright and breezy first thing tomorrow. Take it easy, guys.